Hello, my name is Anna, and today I will show you how to meditate. This will be a simple guide to meditation. Now, I was never interested in meditation. I always thought it was something that people did to some more spiritual. <laughs> Until one time, I was feeling really sick at night. I had a high temperature, I had taken all the possible pills, my stomach was turning and hurting and I was in terrible pain. My body was exhausted and I was suggested to try meditation. Without much belief in it, I decided to try it because um, there was nothing else that I hadn't tried, so this was more of a desperate move for me. So somehow, crawling up on the bed with my stomach in pain, I put myself in the lotus position and really concentrated and started meditating. To my great surprise, it worked. After the meditation, my pain, I didn't even notice how it was gone. My body was relieved and I fell asleep. The next day I couldn't believe what had just happened to me, you know. And since then I started meditating more often and meditation has helped me with my um, insomnia, whether it was anxiety, whether I had a headache and with migraines or um, other pain in my body because when I get nervous or I've had a really stressful day, I tend to have pain in my knees and meditation always works. And what I learned by meditating and the message that I want to pass through is that we don't realize the amount of control we actually have over our own bodies. That we can command our bodies to feel pain or not to feel pain, to feel a certain way. We can command our mind to feel scared, to feel down and exhausted, or to feel relaxed and confident and in peace. And uh, I think that's the problem that most people have that, uh, you know, that same attitude as I had before towards meditation. That it's just something, you know, silly people do and don't realize the amount of power that it gives to them over their own body. And meditation is not difficult. Today I will show you the simple technique that I used that night and have been using ever since. Okay? The first thing that you need to do when you want to start meditating is to make sure you cancel out all the possible external noises that may be bothering you. Maybe the processor of your computer is too loud or um, turn off your phone because if there are messages popping up and it's ringing then it will distract your mind and meditation it's concentration. Meditation is about achieving the complete state of thoughtlessness and balanced breathing, okay? So make sure that you cancel out all the possible noises. Then what you will need to do is to make sure that the room or the place where you are is lighted in a way that it's comfortable for you. So it's preferred that the room where you're meditating is um, lit with a low light or maybe you turn off the lights completely. Of course you can meditate during the day too, um, it's just that you have to feel comfortable with the lighting in the place that you're meditating. And uh, last but not least, or should I say most importantly, is that you have to find a position for your body where it can feel relaxed. You don't have to put yourself into the lotus pose, no. You can meditate while you're sitting or uh, laying down, you know. You can meditate as long as your body has the potential to relax and let go, because that's very important. And uh, if you do all these three steps, then we can start already meditating. 
All right. Now, if you've placed yourself in a comfortable position, we can begin. Now, close your eyes. Concentrate on your breathing. Feel how the straw of air is going through your nostrils into your body and breathe out with your mouth. It is important that you breathe in with your nose and breathe out with your mouth. When we breathe in with our mouth, then we don't get enough oxygen to our heart and our brain. Our heart and our brain can get enough oxygen only when we're breathing with our nose. So inhale with your nose. Feel how you, the oxygen is feeling your brain, your heart, all of your body. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Balanced breathing is what we're trying to achieve. Breathing is that one essential thing that separates us from being alive, from being dead. Breathing is what connects our spiritual self with our physical self. Our mind and our body connect during meditation. And if breathing is so important to keep us alive, it is even more important to breathe right. And that's why right breathing and meditation with its balanced breathing is so healing for us. Because we need to achieve balanced breathing, we will need to count at first. Counting will help you slow down your breath and after find a pace that you feel comfortable with. So as you're breathing in, count to four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three. Four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. Now, when, as you're breathing in, obviously, I'm counting it out loud for you, but you need to count in your head, okay? And you need to count as you're breathing. So don't breathe in and then count to four and breathe out and count to four as you're inhaling. As you're inhaling, you're counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Also, it's important that you breathe this smooth, as smooth as possible. So don't be like No. Okay, so smooth. Let's try again. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. 
Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Count in your brain. When you're breathing in, do not do this. No, your body has to be completely relaxed. If you've started sinking, you know how to breathe correctly. Just like your uh, stomach, you know, is filling with air, but not your shoulders, okay? Don't raise your shoulders. So do everything as relaxed as possible okay that's very important counting your head By now you should feel much better. When you're meditating, your mind will be trying to wander away and think different thoughts. Don't let it. Every time that you catch your mind wandering away, bring it back. Bring your attention back to your breathing. Again, start counting and feeling it as the straw of air is going into your nostrils and feeling your body and then breathing out. It's important that you count as you're breathing, as you're inhaling. So don't breathe in and then count to four and breathe out and then count to four. No. Also, don't breathe in like and then. No. The breath has to be as smooth as possible. As smooth as possible. So breathe in as you count to four. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Breathe out. Two. Three. Four. Breathe in. Two. Three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. As we go on, we can increase the count to five, then to six, then to seven, prolonging it and stretching our breath, but it has to feel comfortable, comfortable. Start five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe.
breathe in two three four five six breathe out two three four five six breathe in two three four five six breathe out two three four five six now count in your head After a while, stop counting, just breathe, just breathe balanced and in a pace that's the most comfortable for you, as calm and smooth as possible without counting, because so now you've got into the rhythm. As you're meditating, do not think, oh, is my head headache gone already? Is my pain gone already? You know, and you will find your mind wandering away and thinking different thoughts. When you catch your mind wandering away and thinking different thoughts, bring your attention back. Bring your attention back to breathing. When you catch yourself wandering away and thinking about something again, bring your attention to your breath. Bring it to your breath. Don't think about how much time you will need to meditate for the pain to go away. Just meditate, okay? It's very important. Just, just meditate. And, as you can see, it is very simple meditation. It is not rocket science, it's something natural, it is not magic or mystery, it is just physics, you know, breathing in and breathing out, breathing balanced and calm and feeling your body with oxygen, your heart, your brain, all of your system, relaxing your mind by not kind of recharging your mind, rejuvenating, revitalizing your whole system by not letting your brain think about, you know, other things. Because when we're even when we're asleep, our brain we see dream so our brain is working we're in a different reality and when we're meditating it's just us with our body and mind united through breath and we're just healing our body we're just charging we're charging and recharging ourselves okay we're just recharging ourselves. I hope that I was able to make you understand that meditation is very simple, it's very practical and very useful of course. It is important to know how to heal your own body. Of course I'm not saying that um, it should replace prescription drugs. Everything in life is about finding balance, the right balance, but being able to heal yourself 
when your body has that ability, when it's been given to you by nature, then it's, it's very important, you know. And of course, uh, imagine that if we're meditating to heal our pain and anxiety and it works, the amount of benefit we will have for our health if we meditate every single day. Now I'm in a place in my life when I'm working towards meditating every single day, maybe five minutes a day, maybe ten minutes a day, but I think that will be very useful. It will be useful, it will definitely not hurt you. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up, write in the comment section what videos would you like to see from me next, and of course click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And I also want to thank all of my wonderful patrons for supporting my channel on Patreon. See you soon.